Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, in a sunny meadow, three little pigs lived snugly with their mother. One breezy afternoon, Mother Pig announced, My dears, you've grown so much. It's time to build your own homes and explore the world. The first little pig, known for his love of naps, stretched and said, A house? Easy peasy. I'll just whip up a straw one. More time for snoozing. Hmm, maybe straw isn't the strongest. The second pig, a bit more cautious, scratched his head. Wood might be better. The third pig, always the planner, adjusted his tiny spectacles. Bricks! We need a strong, sturdy house that can withstand anything. His brothers laughed. Bricks? That'll take ages. Come on, let's play. Days flew by. The first pig finished his straw house in a flash. Perfect. Now for a long nap, he cheered. The second pig built a sturdier wooden house, while the third pig meticulously stacked his bricks. One blustery morning, a rumbling growl echoed through the meadow. A big, bad wolf with a sly grin emerged from the trees. He spotted the first pig's straw house and cackled, lunchtime. Well, 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 the wolf boomed. Little pig, little pig, let me in. The first pig squealed from inside. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. You'll blow my house down. The wolf grinned wider. We'll see about that. He huffed and puffed with all his might. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, the pig repeated, his voice trembling. The wolf huffed and puffed even harder, and with a mighty blow, the straw house went flying. The terrified pig squealed and raced to his brother's wooden house. The wolf followed, panting. There you are, little piggies. Two for the price of one. What do you want, Mr. Wolf? The second pig asked cautiously. Let me in, the wolf roared. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The two pigs huddled together, their voices trembling. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, you'll blow our house down. The wolf huffed and puffed at the wooden house. We'll see about that. He huffed and puffed even harder, and eventually the wooden house came tumbling down. The two pigs squealed and dashed towards the third pig's brick house. The wolf lumbered after them his stomach rumbling. He reached the brick house and roared, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The third pig peeked through a tiny window. No way, Mr. Wolf. My house is made of bricks. You can't huff and puff it down. The wolf huffed and puffed until he turned purple. But the brick house wouldn't budge. Frustrated, he tried to climb down the chimney but the clever third pig had a pot of bubbling stew waiting. Yow! The wolf yelped, scrambling out of the chimney. He scurried away, nursing a burnt bottom and a defeated growl, never to bother the three little pigs again. The two older pigs, humbled and shivering, approached their brother's house. Please let us in, they whimpered. We were wrong about hard work. We should have built a strong house like yours. The third pig opened the door with a smile. There's always room for family. Come on in, but next time, listen to your mother. And so, the three little pigs lived happily ever after in their safe and sturdy brick house. A constant reminder of the importance of hard work and planning for the future.